you, this is Amanda from The Fundamental Home, and I am here chewing gum, right? It's totally, totally hideous on YouTube, but it's good gum. Anyway, <laughs> I'm here doing my introduction for the Virtual Homeschool Co-op, and I am, I've been a member of the Virtual Homeschool Co-op, so I did an introduction video last year, and I'll link that up here if you want to check that out, because you'll probably get some of the same information, but some of it might be different if you want to know a little bit about my channel. Anyway, um, I'm doing this video uh, on Saturday. If you don't know, I had surgery on Friday. I'm doing all of the videos before all of these days that they're going to be posted. So just so you know, I'm not making this video on Saturday. I've already made it and I'm posting it on Saturday. Um, but if you want to know how I'm doing, definitely keep up with my Facebook page, The Fundamental Home and you will see uh, Rick is going to do some updates and things like that. So, and I think Tangie's going to too. Tangie's my friend, Tangie the Caver's wife. I'll link to her up here. She's also part of the virtual homeschool co-op. Anyway, I wanted to get that out of the way because I figured most people would ask that question right off. Like, are you doing okay? I'm probably okay. <laughs> anyway, back to my introduction. Um, how long have you been homeschooling? I've been homeschooling an awfully long time. Um, it feels like forever. My oldest son is 19. He is now a college graduate. He's just finished his bachelor's degree in business administration with a concentration in entrepreneurship and a minor in business law from Western Carolina University. And uh, like I said, he's 19, but we started homeschooling when he finished third grade. Um, my younger son is, and this is, goes on the next question, how many children do you have and their ages? I have three children. So my oldest son is 19. My next son is just turned 17 uh, this week and he is in his third semester at a local community college. He's studying art and graphic design. And in case you were wondering, I am not skilled in any kind of art whatsoever. So both of my boys are pretty much uh, self-taught in the things that they excel at. So we do a lot of that here. Um, and my daughter is my last one, my only one left at home homeschooling, yay! And she is 13 and in 8th grade, and her name is Brianna. So you see Brianna on a lot of my videos. I actually have a homeschool playlist, so I will link right here to my lovely homeschool playlist. If you want to check out all my videos, I talk about tons of homeschool stuff because I've been doing it a long time. And you can see all my other virtual homeschool co-op videos that I've already done. Anyway. Mission statement. I do not have a formalized mission statement. Um, when we started homeschooling, we did create a school name and a school mascot, and we set kind of a goal for our homeschool. I don't know if we created a, a mission statement per se, uh, but we named it Whitefields Baptist Academy, and um, we're Baptist, obviously. <laughs> but really, we identify ourselves as Christian, and. Um, Whitefields was in reference to the verse that talks about the fields being white to harvest and our mascot was the laborers and our goal was that we would raise our children to be laborers for harvest for Christ. Because we're Christians and that's what it is. That's our goal. Now that doesn't mean that and, and we do do Bible and, and Bible memory and things like that in our school and we use Christian curriculum for sure. Um, but that doesn't mean uh, when we say we're training to be laborers for Christ, that, that's a number of different things. Obviously, Brian studied business, and he's actually interested in heading into law school, hopefully working with a Christian law organization in the future, or maybe some other things. There's some options there. Okay, so my neighbor's dog started going crazy, worse than usual. So you know if I came in my house that it was pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to continue what I was saying here. So anyway... What I was saying was that um, we are raising our children to be laborers for Christ. That's kind of our goal and our mission for our homeschool, but that takes on many different facets. Uh, since Brian is a business major and possibly going to law school, he could serve the Lord doing that. Ricky is studying art. Uh, he really would like to, my hair is in my face. He'd really like to go into animation and illustration, uh, but, um, you know, that, that could go again in a number of different areas. So uh, it doesn't have to look a particular way. And I think our goal was to take the children that the, the Lord gave us that were created by him and to take whatever kind of individual they were and their skills and interests and focus on that in homeschool in order to help them be the very best that they could be in whatever they were good at. 
And I think we've been fairly successful because, like I said, so far so good. We're we're making it happen. They're they're out there. Both boys have jobs and are in college, and are debt free and are just making making it work. So we're we're really proud of them. We're excited about it. And uh, what what it's gonna look for, like for Brianna, I don't know yet. You know, her interests are varied and many. So every time we think that we know which direction she might head, we're not sure yet. But she's got a couple more years. We usually graduate our kids at 16. So she's got about three more years. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, what's your homeschool approach? Um, Trish's last uh, video for the virtual homeschool co-op was structured or relaxed. And I talk a lot about our approach in that. So I'm going to link you up here if you want to check out the full answer. The short answer is it's... It's a combination of relaxed and structured. <laughs> I have just enough structure to make it work and everything else is relaxed because I have found that the kids do their best when they are given freedom to pursue their interests. And uh, that's just been my experience. So um, where am I in the world? We are in Western North Carolina, but we've also homeschooled in Maryland. So um, we've got the experience in those two states. If you are homeschooling in either one of those, I'm with you. Um, <laughs> and um, how social media helped you homeschool? Well, that's a, that's a complicated question, but a good one. Um, social media has helped us homeschool because, or I guess how was the question, the way that home, social media is helped us homeschool is through, um, first of all, all the great resources that are available online. Uh, Pinterest has been huge in terms of worksheets and courses and materials that you can get for free, and I love it. Uh, I almost couldn't homeschool without Pinterest. I mean, it would, it would, it would make it much more challenging. Uh, but I love Pinterest. I use it a lot for my homeschool co-op. There's a lot of great stuff out there. And I have a link to my Pinterest below if you want to check that out. Um, I also appreciate social media in terms of Facebook and YouTube for the connections with the other homeschool families. That has been invaluable because as you moms know, we are very isolated sometimes. Even though we participate in co-op and our kids have done sports and you know we've done all these different activities, still, Moms, I think we spend so much time concentrating our children, concentrating on our home, concentrating on everything else that we really don't take the time out for ourselves. And social media has been kind of an outlet for me in that way. Um, I don't know if it's been for you. Hit like if it's been that for you. Yeah, my friend, I know. Um, but anyway, um, and also for my kids because they use social media. I mean... Brian has, my oldest son Brian is 19, he's the business major, he has used social media, um, he uses it less than any of my other children. And he still, because of all the things that the rest of us do, when he was studying business, found that he knew an incredible amount. And it's required learning now for business, and you can understand why. And Brian knew so much more than so many others about graphic design or um, making a blog or, you know, all the regular social media type things that are out there and important now. So um, it's it was invaluable for business, but even more than that, like, of course, Ricky's doing advertising and graphic design. He knew a lot about graphic design before he hit college because we've been making things online forever, it feels like. And um, my daughter has her own YouTube channel. I'll link you up here if you want to check hers out. And actually she just started a new one. So that'll be the new one. I'll link you to the new one. And then you can go from there to the old one if you want to check it out. But it started with her doing a YouTube channel for her American Girl dolls and, and her making connections with people who are have the same interests as her. But it blossomed into her doing loads of different social media things and uh, she is super skilled her pinterest skills are amazing she's got way more pinterest followers than i do but i mean she's she's she knows how to use um tumblr and all those other random uh social media sites that i'm not super familiar with she's also very good at photography she has her own photography page and that kind of stemmed from her use from her social media and um you know, she's she's got a lot of stuff going on, so she's a social media maven of sorts for a 13-year-old. So, um, yeah, it's been really good for our family. We appreciate it, and we don't stress about internet safety uh, because we have certain safeguards in place. I think I talk about that on one of Trisha's videos. 
I don't know. But uh, <laughs> if I do, I think I'm out of links. I don't know how many links I can link up. If I can link that up here, I can. If not, I'll link it down below. But uh, we do make certain choices to be careful with the internet. But, you know, we, we trust our family and, and trust the things that we do to the Lord. And we use the internet for those purposes. And it's been an encouragement to us and a blessing. We enjoy it. So what are you excited about getting out of this VHD this year, Virtual Homeschool College this year? And that is, I love making the connections. I really do. I have been homeschooling long enough and feel super comfortable with what I'm doing. Uh, but I love hearing about what other people are doing. And I also enjoy meeting folks online. I have met so many great people. I've only been doing YouTube really, I, I think technically I made my first video about a year and a couple months ago. But I didn't actually start doing YouTube. I started doing it regularly in February. And then I started doing um, really regularly. Like it was every day for a long time. And now it's most every day. Um, I started doing that in April. And I've met so many amazing people. I cannot even tell you. And I love it. I love making the connections with people. Especially with people who understand my life. And you as homeschoolers, you understand my life. You do. We understand each other. So... That is what I'm hoping to get out of virtual homeschool co-op. And I hope that I can be a blessing to you too. Because uh, I I do know a lot about navigating the treacherous high school and getting through college and all that good stuff. So if you have any questions about that, you can definitely ask me. I feel good about it. And if we don't know the answer, we'll see if we can help you find it. So anyway, that's it for my introduction. I hope it is... I don't know. I hope the chewing gum didn't bother you too much. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you will check out my other videos and I'll see you next time.